So welcome to you Total Warriors to another RTK Classic Archive Tournament Battle. So again we see the final match game in the match series between Leontes and RTK. So this was winner takes all. Best of three, the score stood at one each. So representing Leontes clan, we have Domesticos with Venice. Armenian playing as Sicily and Haros playing as Poland. So a little bit of Mount Crossbow work going on in the centre here. Now we do have a change in personnel for RTK. And we see replacing Paige Tatalis is RTK Pedro, or better known as Pete, or plain old Pete. In the centre, oh, and he's playing as Portugal. In the centre, we've got Abascantis again, playing as the Byzantine Empire. And over on the right flank, it's myself playing as Moors. Okay, I will fast forward a little bit. As that, that crossbow action seems to have died down. If I recall rightly, this was Pete's first tournament battle for RTK, even though he'd been in the clan a long time. And the reason that Tatalis was unable to play in this final leg of the match was he had to go get some food. So Absent Eye scoured, who was online RTK at the time, and we managed to pluck Pete from whatever he was up to. So we see that RTK is slowly closing. And we'll slow the action down a little. So Leontes had a slight advantage in that all three of their factions had mounted crossbows, whereas only Peter brought mounted crossbows for RTK. So it kind of meant that RTK did have to close the field a bit. And again, Leontes has brought the Pavis crossbows. And the bonus that that did give RTK was that's an awful lot of money spent on foot missile units. We need to act. And Grendy sending his peasant units to try soak up a few. Crossbow bolts. Useful little meat shield there. And there's not much gap between the two opposing armies now. Parmenian sending out his peasants to uh, deal with Grendis. As we can see in the background, the skirmishing of the uh, mounted crossbow men is still going on. So, Palmini's peasants run away first. Perhaps that's got some um, skiff on missile cavalry there. Could be useful, especially as most of the mounted crossbows of Leontes are harassing Pete over the far side. Possibly gives a little opening, perhaps. But this looks like a decisive move now from RTK with the army circling around onto this flank. Potentially going to hit Venice with the other armies quite a way off being able to help. This looks like a classic flanking movement now. So, Domesticos still has his mounted crossbows. Very little is opposing, so 
Let's see how this plays out. A piece of infantry coming over this flank too now. Perhaps goes in frontally. You see right and beginning to happen. Grandy, she's got to charge them. But these units really are starting to rout, and we're getting the chain round. And Sicily, doing the correct thing and pushing forward onto RTK's left flank to try and get a route going there. I'm still has a lot of cavalry ready for the charge. We must act now. Venice is in deep danger of capitulating here. Most of their, or at least half of their units have routed now. And Sicily seems to have got all their units involved. Sicily trying to double team Pete. So it's which flank goes first and Abs quickly going to try and support Pete over there with his cavalry units that are not engaged. As we can see we have quite a few routing units back here. Which is all good news for RTK. Abs's infantry have pushed through the centre. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Looking quite decisive. Our men have slain the infidel general. Now this that was the Venetian general going there. Sure to but Pete is holding up largely against two armies on his own here. So he's doing a real, really great job. Our men are under attack. We need to act. I'm just giving him what support he can. Half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Bit of a mistake here from Grandy. Instead of wrapping around, dealing with Sicily, he's got chasing after these Venetians down there. And well, it's 50 50 which way that will go. So instead of getting a quick wrap around and saving Pete, enemy Grandy made a poor decision, really. Men. He split his army in two. And Pete's units now, after surviving the body blow of two armies hitting him, have finally started to go. There goes Pete's general. Abs is coming in now with the forces he has remaining. But it's a lot closer than it was looking before. Both teams have lost one general. has very little left on the battlefield, just these swordsman militia I believe. And as we see in the background, Venice has mopped up the Moors forces that are down right down there. But these units have been cleared out now. Fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Our men are under attack. We must yes, act now. It certainly now. looks as though Arctic have the advantage there. The cowardly enemy general has been captured while running away. Guard him. Uh, I think the that was the Polish general. Show him we are civilized men. So these units cleared up here. 
lines. The battle lines will reform now. As they're quite a distance away from each other, so we just speed up. Then he's after initially collapsing, there's quite a lot left. down to a couple of police crossbowmen and Poland merely has that one woodsman unit for RTK quite a lot of the Moors left and the Byzants but Pete only has the one swordsman militia for Portugal so let's fast forward a little bit I'm not entirely sure why we chose to do this but uh, we decided to take the missile battle and see what we could whittle down and they did the same. It probably worked out better in their favour as uh, they had more missiles than us. Our worthless allies have fled like wit dogs. These curves are not fit to be called men. And that was Pete's swordsman militia deciding to depart there. But great play by Pete, he uh, really did his job in this battle. He had to face off against two foes. As you can see, Abs is firing his arrows, whittling down the enemy units. Victory really, we should have just class. charged him because we have a big infantry advantage there. It's a bit of a mistake on our part. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Cavalry units at the back there for abs. And the Venetians' last cavalry units way over there dealing with the Moorish crossbowmen. Fire arrows from abs burning down another peasant. to its inevitable close. The Moors even saw off that mounted unit down at the far end. There we go. Here is the charge. Should have happened a few minutes ago really but Difficult to say, maybe at the time we were talking in chat to the opponents and so uh, didn't let us Victory attack well straight within away. Our grasp. In time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. But with the charge comes a mass rout. Our enemy flees before us like a herd Well played to Leontes. Drive them from the battle. Really tough battles, but RTK win the series 2-1. Great play from Apps. And Pete and Grandy, and of course Totti in the previous two matches. Rejoice! The infidel general lies dead, and now his men fear us. That looks like a, a little bit of general on general action there. Victory is well within our grasp. In time, our foe will surely see this and lose heart. <laughs> this is a day of victory. <laughs> our foes lie dead or dying, as it should be. 